Hey guys, this week on Hey Subri, I'm gonna be answering Bali Bubba's question. Um, that's a very cool name, by the way. <laughs> hey Subri, can you make a video explaining the difference between value-based marketing and direct response marketing? And what your opinion is about producing content, giving value, and selling? Are they two sides of the same coin? Are they the opposite? Tell us yours, thanks in advance. Great question. The way that I look at it, you know, with value-based marketing and, and my whole methodology is around what are the core principles of human psychology? How do you get somebody to take the action that you want, whether it's click your ad, opt in, register for a webinar, buy, convert on a sales call, right? It's about eliciting a direct response. And that's where, you know, I've been grounded in the fundamentals of direct response. And, you know, I really went about it in the, the long way around the scenic tour. I would say I started as a salesperson on the telephone from the age of 16, and that was before I knew about marketing, knew about anything, and I just had to split test, run multiple split tests hundreds of times a day on sales calls to find out what I would have to say to get somebody to buy, right? And that is the most hardcore, no bullshit, in the trenches experience that you can ever get. Because it's not in some marketing book or a course or a YouTube video. Like that's from speaking to literally thousands and thousands of people all over the world in all different walks of life from all different ethnicities and backgrounds and socioeconomic groups and really figuring out like what are those primal things that get people to act, right? And that's where I got grounded in direct response. Like if I say a word here, it's gonna get me a different response than if I say a different word here. If I use this string of words in my opener, it's gonna result in a completely different outcome come than if I say these words, right? And that was where kind of I, I learned all of my skills in the hard knocks. And I then got into marketing and really got a lot of these mind viruses put into my mind by gurus and stuff like that. They don't even know what the hell they're talking about. And I tried a bunch of stuff. It didn't work. And that was when I put all of that stuff to bed. And I said like, screw all of these armchair experts and let me just basically apply what I was doing over the telephone in an ad, in an advertisement, and how would I apply that to get results? And that was when I started to get a huge amount of results. And that was when I started really studying human psychology and how the humans work and how the thought process and incentive systems and all the stuff behind that. Then realistically, you know, when I transitioned from doing one-to-one -one selling to one-to-many selling, I started to have a look at where are the areas in my messaging that's getting me the best results. And I saw that I was getting a disproportionate amount of results by, you know, instead of like just trying to pitch people on ads and in emails and in video sales letters and sales letters and all that kind of stuff is that like there is like skepticism it was just at an all time high and it's even higher today and it's only going to go up and up and up as the barriers to entry for other people to enter into your market and to speak to your prospect goes down and you get more competition, right? The skepticism just keeps rising and rising and rising. This is something that I have observed and I've observed it in hundreds of different industries all across the world. And if that is like a dominant thing where it's like if someone arrives on an ad, if they arrive on your landing page, if they're watching your video, their skepticism and their bullshit meter is already at 100%. And the only the only way to drain that skepticism is to provide value and to prove to that prospect that you are different to everybody else that's out there that's just trying to take their money and to prove that you can help them by actually helping them. And if you do that, you basically remove like the biggest filter for people believing your sales message, which is, is this person legit? Like, is this thing gonna even work for me? So that's where you wanna provide value in advance and have that your ads by themselves are of incredible value and you're teaching somebody, you're helping them solve the problem in the delivery of your actual sales vehicle and in your message and your sales message that you're putting out there in the marketplace. If you're looking at like direct response and value
value-based marketing. My whole thing is like coining it value-based marketing and infusing principles of direct response on there. So I'm using all of the psychology that's been around for thousands of years. And then I'm making it adaptable to today's environment where skepticism has never been so high. Like a lot of the greats that I've studied, right? The Eugene Schwartz and, you know, the Robert Colliers and the Gary Halberts and all that stuff. Like those guys are great marketers, but they never had to compete with the absolute shitstorm of the internet and what's going on in today's day and age. And you know, it is infinitely harder to convince somebody to do something now than it was back then. And that's because the barriers to entry have never been so low as they are right now. And, you know, news feeds are just littered with gurus who think that they know, like, what the fuck they're talking about when they don't know what they're talking about. And they're able to convince some people that they do know what they're talking about. And then the people buy their products and they don't get the results. And it just adds more noise and friction in the marketplace. And it causes people's skepticism to go up even higher. So if you're going out there and you're just trying to market and write old school sales letters and and not address all the stuff that's happening right now and not having the antidote to that skepticism, you're gonna have a very, very hard time. So the way that I like to do it is to really put together a red hot pitch and have it completely like a minefield of persuasion and to use all the triggers and all the the stuff that you need to do to get somebody to buy, but have that piece of marketing that you're putting out in front of your marketplace so good that your prospect will share it and they will tell other people about it. And they'll be like, you have to go and check this out. And embedded in that value is a sales message that gets somebody to go, man, like this person is legitimate. This shit literally works. I've tried it. I can see that they are the real deal because their content has helped me already. Let me go and get some of their paid stuff to even get a better result. So that's my whole take on direct response and value-based marketing and all of those kind of things. It's not just about putting out endless amounts of content on YouTube and giving everything away for free. It's about making your sales message in a value in itself and infusing all those psychological triggers to get the best result possible. I hope that helps you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We're dropping a video like this almost every single day on YouTube. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments box below with hashtag HeySubri and I'll do my best to get in there and get that answered.